I've got to raise uh, what do you need? Thirty million dollars. One of one of our friends, uh, uh, Annenberg's, Walter Annenberg. He's got plenty of dough. And uh, uh, Mrs. Annenberg, and they can contribute to very large sums of money and do to uh, Governor Rendell. Right. Mrs. Annenberg uh, asked me what was the most. Uh, uh, she wanted to know what's the most she could contribute, and I said the most you can contribute is twenty four hundred. I can say this: the most anybody can contribute is twenty four hundred in a primary, twenty four hundred in a general for forty eight hundred dollars. Right. And uh, Mrs. Annenberg doesn't write checks that small. <laughs> wow. She didn't know what you're talking yeah, what about. What are you talking about? <laughs> so, <laughs> and I'm here in New York uh, raising money, and I go all around the country to California. And how are you doing well, so he far? Said 30. Oh, 30. So, so how are you doing so far? How much have you raised? Do you know? Uh, yeah, I know. How much? <laughs> what do you got? Uh, almost seven million in the bank. You got seven million. Yeah. We got a long way to go. We got to go uphill long on this. Long way to one. go. Jeez. Yep. All right. All right. I, I hear it what you say. It depends how far we have to go, Howard, as to uh, how strong your endorsement's going to be when I well. finish, <laughs> and how, how how much your your, your listening audience will send. Uh, Arlen Specter, Washington, D.C. No, this is an important thing. I need a friend in the Senate. I mean, I, it's, 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 I love that you come and do the show. I'm sending a check. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to do my part. I'll get you reelected. What the hell am I going to do? Okay, now what do you have to say to your listeners? Uh, I'm telling them to do the same. Listen, we all do the same thing. We vote in a block. Yeah, I just got the bold because he got it. So yeah. I'm definitely going to give to you. What kind of phone do you got? What kind of cell phone do you use? You uh, got a BlackBerry? <laughs> really, I'm serious. Sure. You do? Yeah. You got a BlackBerry bold? I got a, a, a Verizon. I got BlackBerry Bold. It's a top of the line <laughs> BlackBerry, and I think you should get one too. Yeah, you got AT and T. See, I'm a right. the senator. I we can have instant the, message uh, each other. I have Verizon. Oh, you have Verizon. Okay. Yeah. I'll instant message you. You'll see. You don't do any of that stuff. Do you go on the internet? Do you Twitter? Do you uh, Facebook? Oh, a little. You uh, Facebook? Uh, I'm on Facebook. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. When you say you're on it, I mean you personally are on it, or you get your people on it? Yeah. No, I've been I, I've been on it. Do you hate it? It's nonsense, right? No, 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 it's not nonsense. It's the same awful. jerks you meet in public. I mean, it's, yeah. it's the same it's dopey, you're trying to it's avoid. The dopiest comments. <laughs> you finally get home away from these nuts, and then all of a sudden they're on your Facebook. Well, listen, I, uh, I also, I meant to tell you, I like this. Uh, you're, you're one of the backers of the flat tax. I think that's great. Why don't they have flat tax? It should. I have always advocated that right. anything that everybody has to do should be simple. It would be so we easy. We shouldn't have to hire people to comply with a law that everybody has to Senator, follow. Senator, why is it so difficult to get this done? Uh, because it's a radical step. Right. Uh, I, I've advocated it for more than a decade. You can fill out your tax return on a postcard yeah. in 15 minutes. And uh, two professors at Stanford, Hall and Rabushka, have... Uh, laid out the whole blueprint, uh, but it's hard to get past because it's so uh, so different. And, yeah, but yet so simple and make people's lives easier. It would save billions of dollars Absolutely. On, on compliance. Yeah. Right. would eliminate a lot of the Internal Revenue Service, a lot of the bureaucracy. Yeah, I'd like to see them go. Mm -hmm. yeah. I saw Steve Forbes on Fox News. He's always, uh, he's always a big a proponent chance, of that, yeah. Steve Forbes. He's been pushing for that uh, whole thing. But he's not getting anywhere. No one's getting anywhere. That's the problem. It, it was really... his primary uh, platform, and he got nowhere. That's right. Let's uh, want to take two or three phone calls. Are you dare? Yeah, sure. Yeah, no, calls are fine. You're a brave man. Man. We don't um, take off. All right, let's go to Ken. I'll, I'll pop down some phones. So you're, you're on with Senator Arlen Specter. If you're a supporter, you go to uh, specter2010.com. I'm going to go on there. I'm, I'm going to Definitely. I, I, I hope you comply. You know, you say right, a we'll lot of things. I say a lot of things and I don't do that. <laughs> but uh, I'm going I'm to really try and follow through on this one. I really mean it, if I may say so. Yes, go ahead, Ken. My respect for your service, Senator, and for your fight against cancer and everything else, my sincere respect. Thank but you. I do, I do not like what you stand for one bit, and I believe I stand and speak with, not for, but with millions and millions of Americans who think that the Republicans that you so well represent put us in the dark, deep hole that we don't begin to know how to crawl out of. And I personally think you're the poster child for campaign reform that should limit senators to one term. Let's have one term. I don't agree with That's that. What if somebody had to say, we got Bloomberg here in New York, for example. What? He's not one a more. senator, obviously, he's the mayor. But we, we, the guy's so competent, why would we want to get rid of him? Listen, he says he's talking to Lenore Annenberg. She, she died six months ago. The ambassador, seven years ago. To so what? Is that who he's talking to? No, he says listen. He's, he's, listen. 
How do you handle that when people say to you the Republicans are responsible for everything bad going on right now? Answer well, this guy. I say uh, they're wrong. Right. I say that there are uh, you can't make that kind of a generalization. Uh, and uh, uh, we've got a lot of very solid thinkers in the Republican Party. Uh, the Republican Party traditionally has a duty to be uh, the loyal opposition. They have to do it responsibly. Right. And uh, I think uh, uh, that I'll speak for myself. Uh, if uh, Ken has some objection, let him be specific. Man. And uh, let's talk about it. Well, the point is yeah, that... Yeah, he's painting you with the Republican brush, not your particular um, votes or activities. I don't mind being painted with the Republican brush if he's specific mm -hmm. as to what right. Republicans have done that he doesn't like. I, I don't believe in these generalizations of a big, black, tarring brush. Got something to say? Let's hear it.